So at this point, I have my vertical warp threads, and we have that base created with some other warp thread. So now I'm going to start with what's called waist. So this isn't going to be part of your weaving, I'm just choosing some yarn I have laying around. And that's just going to give you padding, just in case anything moves around there. It's just giving you a little more buffer zone. So I'm going to start by doing a pigtail. So I'm just going to go over it really quickly. I'm going to stick, I'm just going to take this end through that first and second warp thread. And then I'm going to go around under two because I'm covering that first bit wide. And we're in the open shed, so I can just pull this through. And make sure that other guide on the end is pulled up. So you can see that I'm going around this warp thread at the bottom so that I went under two. And then it, from that point on, I'm just going over, under, over, under. But because I'm in the open shed, I can pull it all the way down. So I'm going to take my beater. I'm going to push that pigtail down create what's called a bubble, like so, pack that down on both sides, and then I'm going to go back, right to left, so like before with the warp thread, I haven't covered this one, so I'm going to go over it, under, over, under, over, all the way back. Okay, so now I can pull this through. And you can see, so that first row, I've covered all of the odds, and this row is covering all the evens. So what I wanna do now is bubble it, and I'm gonna pack down the sides, and then pack down the bubble. Okay, we've completed our first full pass. Now this, can, this should go a little easier for you hopefully, but um, remember go over the guide and then into the open shed and then I want to pull this guide up. And with the waist you are going to weave in the guides, but when we get started weaving those won't be included. So pinching this down, creating a bubble, packing that down, and then going back and weaving the opposite. So I'm going over all of the evens. And under all the odds, starting with including the guides. So I'm going to keep a bubble, pack down the right and the left and then pack down that middle part. You can see I'm getting a little extra on that side, so what I can do is I can pinch that to hold it in place, create the bubble, pack it down. And at this point, you want to start paying attention. You can see I have what is called lice, which is where you can see these warp threads sticking through. And you'll see that, you can see as I pack, it's becoming less and less. And I did just start this, but that just means I need to start packing a little tighter. Another thing to do at this point, too, is or if you get a little further, is to just check and make sure you're still around that same width that you want to be, which I'm still at. And you can see I'm not including the guides when I measure that, so I'm at the two inches still. And these are pulling more together here, I've got more space here. So when I go back this way, which is in the open shed, left to right, I'm going to make a bubble, but I'm going to make more of a bubble in that area where they're pulling in a lot, just so there's more 
left to go around all the warp threads. I'm going to go under that guide, right to left. Same thing, over, under, over, under. You can see we're just repeating this pattern. So you're going to get used to it, hopefully, and it's going to become more easy as you go along. Like I said, you don't have to go the full width. You could just do part of it. So if I'm doing part of it, let's say I want to go just halfway across because I, I just want to do a little piece or whatever at a time. So I am in the open shed, so I go to here, let's say, which is roughly the around the middle. And you just do the same thing, but smaller bubbles. Pack that down, and then you just continue. So because I'm in the open shed, and you can see that I haven't covered that one, and I'm going to cover this one. I just want to start there, um, over going over that th warp thread here, where I'm pointing with my beater. Go over that, and then I'm in the open shed. So it should be easier to pull those up. And then just pull that through for the rest of that half pass. All right. So I'm going to end it on the left-hand side, so this will be our last half pass. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under. Let's see, I wanted to do only halfway this way, so... You can see I've ended... Uh, go, I'm going over this warp thread because I haven't covered that one. So we're just going to continue from there. So going over this warp thread, under, over, under, and just continue along. And that's just a helpful way to see where you've ended is to see what you've covered. All right, so now I'm ready to end it. I'm just going to pigtail it on the left-hand side. So I'm going to take the end, wrap it around, and then pull that end to the back. All right, so that's our waist.